Hello, welcome back to my channel Nepal Tech Hub and today in this video I'll show you how to create a virtual tour. It will be very useful and come handy when it comes to your business marketing because on the virtual tour you can do it for your business so you show what you have around your store or your business area and after this COVID the virtual tour has been really a nice help. So to create the virtual tour first thing you have to have is a 360 images and for 360 images you can use 360 camera or you can do panorama from your phone or also there's one more technique that you can do to create 360 images is you can take images from different angles and stitch them together this kind of hustle but still you can get it through it I'll say the best way is to get the panorama or just a 360 camera will be the best and for this video and demo purpose I downloaded some 360 images from online free portals so here you can see this is a 360 image uh, you have to click and drag and right or left and also one more thing about the A-frame that I'm using for this virtual tour is A-frame tool and here you can see on the right side VR this is for the Oculus and VR devices once you click on the VR mode you will be able to get onto the images and you will be able to drag left and right using the motion sensor and you'll be able to click on this navigate hotspot button using your motion click or your mouse click or whatever you are using for those devices and on the top of this you can see here text which will say where you are going next what will happen when you click here this one here is saying port so once you click in here it will take you to the port and here you can see exit sign and there's a hard spot navigation towards the next images and here we have the second one this will navigate towards your first image and here this is a 360 image again and you can have much hard spot navigation much you want but the only problem with this and is you have to get the right coordination and here the text will go separate and the hard spot image will go separate so you have to separately coordinate them together to get into the same place and once i click in here you can see the smooth zoom in and the zoom out so i'll show you how to get this let's get started i'm using bs code uh, you can use favorite code editor as you want and let's get started before i have it inside the virtual tour folder I have images I have already dumped this images that I'm going to use for this demo project if you want some images from online you can go ahead and download them or you can just click some panorama for using your phone devices so inside here let's go ahead and create index.html and html5 template and on the VS code once you enter html it will give you the template you want to use and I selected html5 and on line, line 7 you can see here the title I will change it to the virtual tour and since since I am using a frame to get this virtual tour we have to give some script and have to download some a frame we need to give some a frame scripts I will give it inside the head here and there is for the animation component we have some more because we need to give the animation as well so for the anima animation component I have this script here make sure you follow the same step or you can just google a frame and get this script from there or you can pause the video and just copy from here the second thing is we need to get a script the whole script that is required to run our tour so I will if I go line by line explaining the script then it will be a completely different video but for here for now I'll just go oh I'll give the overview high overview so that you can understand what is going on here with this script and the first line 20 I have info icon which we can use to use the caution images and give the information about the image by itself or we can just say it gives some information about what would be the next and what is that image about and for that we can define some string here and for the hard spot that I show you this blue icon here these are called the hard spot so for these we have to define it so for the hard spot we have to define here info icon and give this scale so it will always look at the camera so here we set an attribute that says look at the camera all the time and every time we click on that hotspot every time we click on that hotspot here you can see it will navigate us towards the different image once we click the, the clicker will tri trigger so to trigger those here you can see here we have the click listener which will trigger and it will scale it to the different images navigate to the different images and for the hotspot on the different images we have to reload those hotspot with a different scale and now here you can see the skybox is the source of the A-frame where, where it will give you the first landing images and then after it will keep navigate towards the different images but it all will be inside the same skybox source and now we have since we have zoom in zoom out feature here it is defined here and then 
for this spot we have it here source hard spot look at the camera all the time because once we go to the next image it should stand out on the same position to give the nice view and this is for the smooth zoom in zoom out feature that I have added so on the A frame you have to stand with the A frame on the multiple things but you can still customize it on the top of that and you can over override some features and you can add your own which I have done here with the zoom in zoom out feature and click a listener you can do the same yeah, or if you want to add some more you are free and welcome to do that so this is much for the script and inside the body part now this will be on the HTML that index this uh, frame this will be the front end inside the body so the first thing is we have to give the scene for the mouse control so for the mouse controller cursor controller we have a scene here is the origin of the mouse you can give the pointer as well the cursor you can give the pointer or if you just don't want to use it you can obviously you don't have to use it you can obviously take it off of your code and now it's time for us to give this image entities and assets this is called assets inside the a-frame so a stands for a-frame assets and here on the line 146 I have a mixing ID which will mix the both text and the hard spot on the same geometry line so that you will have those coordinates and you can get those on the top of those images that we have as a 360 images on the top of this image there will be the hard spot text and the hard spot image as well so here you can see on the line 159 I have given the images hard spot defined as a hard spot and I have given the images with that blue color so you can see this blue circle is image by itself which is on the top of this 360 image and after the assets is done you and here it says image id equals to room one room two room three and room four room five and these will be on the separate group for, for me so that i can get it easily distinguish between the groups and navigate through the groups the next thing i have to give is here id equals to spots for these parts and the hard spot will be the define id which is calling this one here and the group room one is for the room one you can create everything on the same room but for me it, i feel easier to create the multiple rooms so that i can easily navigate through it but for you guys if you don't want to create the different room you can get all of them in the same room here on line 167 you can see a text position as i told you from the beginning here you can see the port as a text on the top of the hotspot that i have so these are coordinated so this will be the separate a text and this will be the this this image will be separate as a hard spot. So here you can see the image is part is calling for the is for the hard spot is calling spot. So the hard spot will be separately coordinated and the position here is given in the x y and g coordinates. And is the, there's some catchy about this hard spot coordination is it you need to know which coordinates will work for like how this different coordinates works. The left one will give you it will drag you to the left side and the right one will drag you to the right side and the middle one will go up and down but sometimes it depends on the image that you are using sometimes this left side image left side coordinate will work as a zoom in and zoom out as well so you need to be really careful on this and on the second entity i have given the different group and this uh, i have says here okay let's say on the first room i have linked it to the room two so to link to the room two i have given link to colon has room two navigated towards the room two and it's part group group is room two and i have given the position so once i click on that hot spot it will link me towards the room two which is a group two room two and from here i have navigated back to the room one and room three you can place how many hot spot you want to it's all up to you i also have the comment here if you have any confusion you can check the comments once you specify this group and the images and once you link towards the right one that you wanted let me check here one and you save everything the next thing we have to do is there is one more entity and the skybox that we have to use define and this entity is for the animation so this will give you the reverse mouse to drag and WSD control and the position it will maintain every single time that you go to the new different images and it will give you the zoom of one you can increase this number if you want to or you can decrease it as per your choice and id is camera is stand for camera and property camera is uh, at what time it will zoom in and what time it will zoom out and in which depth it will zoom in and in which depth it will zoom out you can always change these numbers here 
and here on line 205 you can see the sky id skybox and source is room one this means here as a frame the skybox is the landing image page where it will start so we have defined room one will be our landing image and room one is this here this image will be our landing image once we run the program from the group one and one more last thing before we start our program is we need to have the script for the animation so the script is 209 to 214 here you can see ccam document get element by id is camera so camera position and also the animation come once the animation is complete so once the zoom in zoom out feature has been complete that's the animation and it will go to the next image and the load new spot details as well because we have the hard spot and the text image detail as well so we need to load those on each and every image that we have that's why you can see the difference between the room one the first landing image and the room second the second page we have the scale on the everything else beside the first landing image this is because on the first room we will have these coordinates and on the second one once this animation is done the second animation will go on because of this line here on the line 212 it will get this detail what will happen if you take this off and place in the room one it will if you place this scale on the room one this will get all the details of your room two and room one hotspot as well as text images that's kind of messy so it's once this animation is done it will completely load the new spot details and it will be ready for the next image navigation so once you have all this done in your index.html file save these all if you have any confusion you can pause the video and copy paste or write and note it down all this script or it's easy for you to go to the A-frame on Google and just copy from there but it will be a little bit confusing from the A-frame page to get how to navigate so be careful on the navigation part let's run the program I would like to open on the open live server so that I can change it at the same time if I, when I'm editing and see the out outcome so here you can see the port on the top of the hard spot this is a text if I click here it will navigate to me me towards the port as it says here and you can see this is a 360 views of Miami let me go down here and see and also you can zoom in and zoom out with your mouse roller you can see here but by default it will stay in 1.6 camera position because we have already set it set that and also on the zoom in zoom out it will stay on 1.0 so that it will be in the middle and if once you click on the exit you will go to the next image it will navigate towards the next image and here you can give multiple hotspot to go to the next image or you want to just go to the navigate to the different buildings or however you want to set it up and here I have navigate towards the hotel room it's the living room of the hotel and here since this is the exit door of the hotel room this will take me back to the street and this is for the bedroom so this will take me towards the bedroom so you can see here so the virtual tour will be really easy and uh, kind of helpful for your business promotion so that the client can know kind of out layer of how your business looks like and what are the supplies that they can get from your business or how can that be, how can that be helpful for them and this is the exit door this is exit door for the living room and this will go take me towards the first image as you can see this here and this is how we done We're using the a-frame virtual tour and thank you so much guys for watching my videos and stay tuned for more videos and if you have comments and if you have questions you can always put those in the comment comment section below i'll get soon as possible to get your answer and help you out Thank you so much. You have a great day.